consumers can um, quickly learn the technology of NFC or, or what it is. Uh, you know, clearly if you watch, you know, a quick tutorial or video or see it in a store when you're buying the phone, you know, it's as easy as tapping to pay. Um, you know, clearly I, I think consumers don't understand or, or have a, a lack of appreciation for the security. Uh, because, you know, any time that I talk to anyone about what, I, what I'm working on, you know, the immediate reaction from the everyday consumer is, gosh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable having all my credit cards in my wallet. You know, what if I lose my phone? Uh, but, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is, you know, those credentials are securely transmitted by your bank. Uh, they're not held in handset memory. They're held in a special, you know, vault called a secure element uh, that, you know, um, hasn't been hacked yet. Um, and, you know, when you're using that, you know, that, that little three-digit code that you usually have to, you know, give the, give the pizza store when you're calling to order your pizza, you know, that's changing with every transaction. So, you know, it's actually much more secure than a plastic card. And also, uh, you know, at, at the various retail stores of, of um, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon, you know, they'll have kiosks when you get your handset, you know, when you buy a, an ISIS-capable handset, you're going to be able to download your wallet, um, you know, um, work to get uh, an e-cash account put in there, uh, you know, potentially, you know, credit accounts right there on the spot, you know, have a kiosk where you can actually, you know, tap a terminal and experiment with it because, you know, really what we've seen is, it, it, it's kind of like anything, it, it, you have to try it, but once you try it and you do it three times, you realize how easy it is and you're hooked. So, you know, that, that type of educational, uh, you know, um, approaches will be happening in the retail stores.